Hello and welcome to ATF TV. I'm Christine Joe reporting from London. Today we welcome you, Roger Scott, to ATF TV. Nice to meet you, Roger. Nice to meet you as well. Roger is head option trader and co-founder of U.S.-based Wealth Press and joins us today to talk about the Chinese electric vehicle sector. Roger, you have said recently that Chinese EV companies Xpen and Neo, both listed on the New York Stock Exchange, are still buys despite recent headwinds. Why is that? Well, let me let me tell you. I think a lot of it has to do with the political climate that we're seeing um, in the U.S., coupled with the fact that electric vehicle demand from around the world is just gaining traction. It's an unstoppable technology, and it is the future. Also. The world is turning from traditional energy into evergreen energy, and these companies are just on the tip of that iceberg in terms of that technological growth. So they are in the right place at the right time and in the right country because obviously China has the most amount of people in the world. Why did EV stocks rally this year despite the pandemic, and why did we see such a huge trading volumes in New York for Chinese EV stocks? That's a great question, and the answer is very, very simple. There's multiple reasons. The biggest reason is is because right now the demand for Chinese、uh, companies in U.S. to diversify assets for hedge funds is very, very big. With this COVID night, with this COVID nineteen climate right now in the U.S., investors, traders, and hedge funds needed a lot of diversification, and there's no better way than diversify than to get out of the traditional S and P five hundred. Furthermore, electric、um, the the whole evergreen movement has been going on,、um, and it started many many years ago. And it's one of those technologies that's unstoppable. And I think we're at a place in our world right now where the world is really at a tip of going from、uh, traditional energy, at least for consumers, to evergreen energy. We're seeing we're seeing renewable energy all over the place here in the states. And it just makes plenty of sense that no matter the economic climate, it's it's one of those things you just can't lock up in a box and throw away. It's it's here and it's here to stay. Roger, thank you for your insight on today's topic. My pleasure. Thank you for having me. And thank you all for watching. To read more about the Chinese electric vehicle sector, check out AsiaTimesFinancial.com. For the world's best news on Asian markets, economies, and more, I'm Christine Zhou, reporting from London for ATF TV.